Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra and in this video I am going to talk about how to use Samsung Notes in this tablet. So let's start. The first feature is about bringing information from different sources into your notes. So I will take out this edge panel then I select this internet browser and I open here in this split screen. So here you can see I search some images on Google. For example I like this image I just select it. So here you can see I have this labeling in this image but I don't want this labeling I only want this part of the image. I will just press and hold it like this a menu will open. I will just scroll down and here you see this option of clip subject from background. So you just select it. Once you select it you can see the image pop out from this labeling. You can just press and hold it like this and now you can drag it into your notes. So here you can see I can easily drag this image into my notes and then if you want you can make it bigger. So here you can see and then if you want you can also rotate it and then you can do all your labeling if you want to highlight something you can do it. Same way you can also bring any text from a website into your notes. So for example I open this website and here you can see I have this text. Now I want this text into my notes I will use my S Pen press and hold it like this and then I can easily drag and drop here into my notes. So here you can see I can just drag and drop. You can also edit this text. So for example I want to edit it from here. So here you can see I can easily edit it. The next thing is you can also bring a full website into your notes. For example I have this website and I want to bring it here in my notes. So here you can see at the bottom it is giving me the option of a whole page or link. So I just select this whole page. So once you select it, it will start adding this whole website into your notes. It will take just a few seconds and it will also include all these images and the text as well. So here you can see I have this website into my notes. So here you can see all the text available. Every image is also available here. And then if you want, you can also write here. If you want to use the highlighter, if you want to highlight something, you can highlight here in your notes. The next thing is you you can also bring the simplified readable version of this website into your notes. So first of all what you have to do here you can see on top we have this readable mode option. So you just select it. Once you select it it will remove all the menus all the colors and here it will give you the simplified version of the same website with the text and images. So this is the clean version of website. Now what you can do is you can just select these three lines and then you can select this print PDF option. Just select it. Once you select it here you see this uh, yellow color icon for PDF. Just select it and then you can save it as PDF in your tablet. So I will just save it. Now here in my notes I want to bring this simplified version. So if you want you can scroll and you can add a new page and then here you see this attach icon. Just select it. Once you select it here you see this option of PDF. Just select it. Once you select it here you can go to the internet storage and I save my PDF file here I just select it then press done and then you can see the same website is now available here in your notes in the readable mode so that's the same website so here you can see so everything is available and then if you want you can write here you can use the highlighter all the tools you can use here. The next thing is you can also bring any object from a video into your notes. For example I will take out this edge panel and I will play this video in this split screen. And here if you find something interesting that you want into your notes you so you can just pause it like this. For example I want this table into my notes. I will just press and hold it like this and then I can drag here into my notes like that. And then if you want you can rotate it you can make its size bigger you can crop it you can do all your editing same way you can also bring any object from image so I will open this image for example I want this item into my notes so I will just press and hold it like this and here you can see I can easily grab this specific object and I can bring here into my notes. The next thing is you can pin your notes as well. For example I want to pin this part of my notes. What I will do I will just select this air command icon and then I select this smart select option and then I select any part of my note. For example I want to select this part of my notes. 
so here you can see now it is selected now here you can see at top we have this option of pin so you just select it once you select it it will pin into your screen so even if i go back to my home screen so here you can see my notes are available even if i open another app notes are still available the next thing is you can see this pin notes are blocking the view behind so what you can do is you will just press it like this and then here you see this minimize icon just select it once you select it it will become like a thumbnail and then you can use your other apps for example i open this app and now if i want to access uh, my notes i just select it like this and it it will become bigger so you can use it as a reminder if you want to put some important information you can also use it the next feature is about page sorter option so if i just select this icon from here so here on left side i have my page sorter option available now here i can do a lot of things for example if i want to rearrange the pages for example i want this page and i want to change its position so i can move it anywhere for example i want to put it here i can just put it here like this the next thing is if you want to add new pages you can also add new pages from here here are different pages option you can select any page and the new page will be added you can also erase anything from your page by just using the sorter option for example i select this page and i want to erase everything from this specific page so i will just select these three dots and here is the erase page option so once you select it like this it will erase everything from your page the next feature is about categorization so if i go back so here you can see i have this folder section so here you can create folders and in those folders you can create subfolders for example i create this folder according to my semester and then here i create another folder according to my subjects you can also sync your notes across different samsung devices just go to the settings from here and then here you can see the first option is about sync with samsung cloud so you can just enable it and then you can sync your notes the next feature is about sharing information between two different notes for example i open my notes and i want to share this part of my note into a new note so what i will do is i will just take out this edge panel and then i open another samsung notes so i will just drag it and drop here and then here i can take my notes now i want this part into here in this new note so what i will do i just use the selection tool and i will select this part of my notes like that and then what i will do i will just press and hold it like this and i can easily drag here into another note so here you can see the same part is now available here in this note now if you want you can do all your editing if you want to write here you can use all your tools the next feature is about voice recording so if you want to record your lecture you can also do it so what you have to do is you just select this attach icon and then here you see this option of voice recording just select it once you select it it will start voice recording so you can take your your notes and you can also record your lecture once you finish you can just stop it from here and then if you want to play it you can play it from here the next feature is about sharing information from your google workspace or office workspace so what you can do is just take out this edge panel and then for example i open this google sheets so i open here in split screen now i will open uh, this file and here you can see i have uh, some information now i want to share this information into my notes so i can use smart select so i will just select this air command icon and then i will select this smart select option and then i will select the area that i want to share in my notes so for example i want to share all this into my notes so now you can see i just selected now i can just drag and drop it so i will just drag it like this i press and hold it and i can drag here into my samsung notes and here you can see i can use this information same way you can also bring any information from powerpoint from slides from microsoft word into your notes now let's talk about tools so i will open a new note so here on top we have different tools available the first tool that i am going to talk about is this shape tool so you can create neat shapes so here you can see i just make a circle and it will make it neat for me and here you can see 
So this is how you can use this shape tool. You can also edit these shapes. So for example, I just select this shape. Here is the option of change style. So if I want to fill it, so I can just fill it with any color. For example, I just fill it with this color. And then for the outline, I will also change the color. And then I press done. So this is how you can change the shapes as well. The next tool is handwriting to text tool. So once I select this tool, whatever I write, it will convert it into the text. So here you can see I use my S Pen handwriting and it will convert it into the text. The next thing is you can also use normal pen tool for handwriting. So here you can see I use my pen tool and if you just select it here we have different pens option. Then we have different thickness, different style and different colors option. So if you want to change the color you can change the color from here. You can also select the spectrum or swatches option and then if you want you can also change the pen from here. The next thing is you can also use this highlighter tool. Same for the highlighter tool we have four different type of highlighters and then we have different thickness different opacity options available so you can use this highlighter tool as well the next feature is about page templates so if you just select these three dots the first option is about page templates so you can just select it and here we have different templates available so you can see this template with the line and uh, then we have this PDF option as well so if you just select it we have different templates available here so we have like this type type of uh, uh, template so here you can see these are according to months so these are like a planner so different PDF options available you can also upload your own template as well so for example I have this template I just download it so I just select it so here you can see I can use this template as well the next feature is about page settings. For example, I open this note and now I want to change its scroll direction. I want it horizontal. So I will just select these three dots. I select this page settings option. So here is the horizontal direction option. So now I can move my page like this. The next feature is about PDF annotations. So here on top right corner, you see this PDF plus icon. Just select it and here it will take you to the destination where you have your PDF file available. So for example, I have this PDF file then I press done so here is my PDF file and then if you want to see the pages just select this page sorter option so here you can see I have 135 pages so I can scroll to any page for example I select this page and then if you want to annotate this PDF file you can use all these tools so for example if I want to highlight something if I want to write some text I can do it and then if I want to create any shape I can also do it the next feature is about collaboration so you can collaborate your note taking with your students with your friends with your colleagues as well so for example I have these notes I just select this edit option then I select these three dots and here you see this option of invite collaborators just select it once you select it here it will ask you if you want to share link so for example I select this share link option and then it will create a link for you here you can see it create this link for me and now I can share this link in different platforms and other people can also edit my notes so they can participate in this note taking as well. The next feature is once you finish with your note taking you can save it in six different formats. Just select these three dots here is the option of save as file and here you can see you can save it as notes file, PDF file, word, PowerPoint, image or text file. The next feature is about action icons for example I open a new note and here I will just write some sample email okay so I will just write here abc at gmail.com now I will just select this back arrow and then I will bring my pen closer to uh, this email ID so once you bring your pen closer here you see uh, this email icon appear then you just select it and here it will ask you if you want to complete this action using the Gmail or Outlook. You can select any of these email and then you can send email to that specific person. Same way if you want you can also write a number, a phone number. So for example I will write here any number okay so I will just write here this number now again I will select this back arrow and then I bring my pen closer to this number so here you can see it is showing me the dialer icon so once you select it it will open the phone dialer and from here you can call this person now same way you can also use it for calculation for example I will write here uh, some 
calculation 3 multiply by 2 now what I will do again I will select this back arrow from here I bring my pen closer like this it will show me the calculator icon so I will just select it once you select it it will open the calculator and it will do this calculation for you so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much